Hey there, it's me, Red Knight Heyday Farmer, and welcome to the video Heyday XP. Now, XP stands for Experience Points, and that's what we're going to be focusing on today. This is a requested video, and I'm going to be showing you ways of getting XP within the game. Some easy, some not so, some beneficial, again, some not. Now, experience is very useful. It allows you to actually level up within the game. And as I said, it can be gotten in many, many ways. Now, that you really do want to actually work on gaining XP. And I would say collecting XP from visitors is not one of the better ways. It's actually probably not a good idea to be focusing on too many visitors. They only give 5 XP every time. And the return for what you're giving them, yeah, you could do better off elsewhere. For example, you can actually go and fill your crates for your boat. Now the boats are wonderful. The amount of experience points you can get from each crate can be really good. And some of the products you can't do, you just request a little bit of help, not a worry. Now as you can see here I've got some crops there collecting my crops. I harvesting them gives me a load of experience points very very quickly. In addition to some expansion materials which is very nice. Actually harvesting I think is probably one of the nicer ways of gaining XP. Now at the end of the day depending on the product you are planting and harvesting will again vary the amount that you can actually get. But the more you level up within the game, the more land you get, the more land you've got, the more XP that can be gained. So again, it's basically leveling up, more land, leveling up, more land, until you actually get to a stage where you've got so much land that the XP comes really, really fast. However, at the end of the day, I prefer collecting from my machines. And I think my machines are probably the most useful aspect of my game because they do give me a lot of experience points depending on the product that needs to be collected. I can actually make a lot overnight, collect them in the morning, then produce a lot more, and then come back to them again later in the day. So maybe two or three times a day, I can be collecting from my machines, thus gaining myself the ability to level up very, very quickly. Now, for the higher level players, we require a lot of experience points. You can see there I need 784,000 at the moment, and I'm not even halfway yet there, but I'm getting closer and closer and closer. If you are a lower level, okay, the amount that you need is much less. Now, it's actually very easy to level up within the first 30 levels. You can do it really, really fast if you're concentrating on experience points. Now, at the end of the day, it's all about actually managing and running your farm, feeding your animals, collecting from the machines, uh, collecting the products from your animals gives you the actual experience as well. So basic farming activities give you a lot of experience points. So do it. Okay, literally just run your farm. Now, once you've collected all of these items, you've got a few choices. What you can do with these items is the boat crates, as you saw earlier. Boat crates can be very, very nice. You can actually get a lot of experience points uh, from many, many bolts. You don't have to do just your own bolts. You can actually go and do other people's bolts as well, and then use your resources that you've been making for that as well. So not only do you get actual experience points from within the game from collecting your produce, but you get experience points as well when you fill people's crates. So Actually, that's kind of like a nice little return. You just saw that I actually collected from my animals. I've also done my rabbits that were there as well. And in a moment, I'll be doing some more of my pets. Now, the pets are very nice to have. They are going to cost you a lot of vouchers for many of them. But the return that you get, again, can be very good. Trees itself, okay, reviving trees, okay, doesn't really give you much, but chopping down is actually very good. You'll get experience from harvesting the uh, actual fruit, but when you actually chop one down, you get XP as well. The actual requesting help is better for the other individual. When you actually revive someone, the experience points you're getting for revives is really nice. So do check out the actual newspaper for help request, or do check your friends' bars for help requests, because you never know, you may find that lucky farm where there is a lot of experience points. Now, some of the activities don't give you XP. You can spin the wheel as many times as you like, and you're not going to get anything from this. Now, I do wish that we could have that change as well. It would be nice to actually get some XP sometimes within one of those actual spins. That could be kind of interesting. So, imagine like you get like double XP for uh, uh, that actual spin the wheel. That could be very, very nice. It would certainly make it much nicer for me to level up within the game. Right, now, thank you very much, by the way, for the revive. It was very nice of you. Now, okay, most of my farm is done. I've harvested my crop. I've done my trees. I've fed most of the animals over here. Uh, I've collected from my machines, and I've done some of my crates. Nice one. 
Now this is my next area down here. Okay, it's just across the road. Collecting again from the smelters. Very, very good. Okay, then feeding my animals, which is the most important part here. And look at that. As I do my animals, I get a lot of XP. Very, very nice. Now for me, feeding the animals is really good. It builds up the experience points very quickly, as I said. But it's these extra expansion items or mine items that are often more important for me. So it is kind of like a double reward here. So experience and expansion materials perfect just what red actually wanted so I like that a lot now I've done all of this okay let's move on over to my truck now the truck okay is I think probably the next best item other than the boat for actually making experience points you get a lot of orders there and each of these orders will give you a specific amount of experience points now at the moment there is a boat event on which is very nice it's filling a number of boats and then sending them away but I kind of like the events that give you double XP or double coinage now keep your eyes open for those now the double XP events I think are probably the most useful useful if you're looking to level up and these are the ones you should be aiming for now I think the, for me the third most important place for gaining experience points has to be my town you really can get a lot from this location and once you actually level up your buildings and you start actually increasing the amount of experience points you can get for the actual building and for the visitors it can be very very nice some of the experience points that you get here can be up in the hundreds very very easily and it really does allow you to level up very quickly so not only are you using your resources for the trucks and for the boat but use them in the town as well because trust me it really does add to the total sometimes especially when you've done like 30 or 40 visitors uh, and then you've got all of those visitors ready to be collected and then bang okay you level up just like that sometimes however remember the town is very resource heavy and do like I do sometimes the ones that are after three buildings you can send them away however if your focus is just on experience points then try not to because remember every visitor is a good return at the end of the day uh, although they may ask for items you don't want to sell now if that's the case you've got a choice of uh, requesting them from a hoodie or sending them away choice is yours for me I usually send away the people that are after three buildings uh, not because I don't want to do them as such because I can do for the XP but it's resources at the end of the day that are critical for me I can't always get back to the game and I don't really like having too many visitors hanging around that I can't actually do very very quickly so as such okay people for one building or two buildings much much better as far as I'm concerned and I like that one so how am I doing today okay getting really close to that halfway mark now so that one is kind of cool okay loading up my visitors again for next time and then later when I come back within the game maybe in a couple of hours they will be ready again so again once you actually level up your buildings you can actually reduce the turnaround time reducing the turnaround time allows you to gain more experience points a lot faster as well remember pay attention to your actual visitors uh, in relation to going to another town go and visit your hoodies because you can pick up to a maximum of 10 passengers if you've maximized your personal train 10 passengers that only want to go to one building that will turn around really quickly and once you've actually speeded up the turnaround time i.e. maintenance for the actual uh, train as well you can get a lot of visitors collected every few hours and it can be really really nice okay back to the farm again okay I'm still collecting some of my crops okay I've got a few more crops on going there so they will grow and be ready for later uh, I've got to load up my machines as well okay let's just do those ones thank you very much by the way those ones I'll get done very very soon not going to be a worry I've got 17 hours plenty of time right let's go do my fishing area now again the fishing area is really good now I've got all of these actual ducks caught there the same with my lobsters now at the moment okay I'm not going to get any experience from them because they've actually not finished their process they need to go through the machines but once they've gone through that then bang I get it now when you do build a new machine as an example remember that you can gain experience from opening up a machine so there's always that factor or motivation for adding new machines to your game as well now every time I actually 
produce one of these lures I can use them in the fishing area and depending on the kind of lure that you're using will depend on the fish that you can catch and then again each fish that you can catch has a specific quantity of experience associated with it some are very very low value some are much much higher so if you are going to aim for the higher value fishes uh, do use different kind of lures and make sure you check out the actual heyday wiki the heyday wiki will give you a lot of information on the kind of fish that you can catch in which spots and the actual quantity of experience and lures that you need as well and remember as well that the fish do give you diamonds so for each of those key weights that you are trying to catch you can get specific amount of diamonds which is really good okay right that's basically it now I do need to focus more on my truck I do need to focus more on the actual loading of my machines getting them ready for later and then collecting XP now XP at the end of the day is a challenge if you're looking for an easy way of doing it though I would always recommend going to other people's farms now going to other people's farms allows you to actually buy resources like this very very cheap especially at Greg's you can also hunt around their farms looking for the actual red toolboxes if you can find them which is really nice then maybe you'll get some permits or some diamonds or maybe even vouchers or something else within them as well so that's what I'm doing at the moment I'm just looking for that toolbox and I believe it's just over there by the tree but I will see that in a moment so there it is one sparkly now what did I get I wonder Ah, vouchers very very nice now as such I'm not going to get any revives here but if I do go to the revives on the friends bar which is that little one with the exclamation mark this is where you have the opportunity to really hit it big now remember remember you're not the only person playing the game there are millions of other people and you've got the option now at least within the moment within the game to add up to 150 friends on the friends book this gives you 150 opportunities to help people out when they require help you can also use your Facebook to connect to your friends as well and again that gives you an endless supply of people who are looking for help within the game now remember again as you are actually visiting people hunt around their actual farms looking at the designs but also looking for those toolboxes remember toolboxes are really really important because they do allow you to actually find uh, expansion materials and diamonds and the permits as I said right now keep filling those crates yes yeah, your choice though remember they are going to be resources that you are selling or giving to somebody else uh, but it's the XP that is critical at the end of the day nothing else there needs to be doing and I can't find it so let's go elsewhere so we keep hunting through right no boat Ooh, this one's gonna be a good one and what have I got down here oh my goodness me look at that one so this is perfect look at all of that experience points and it can be really really good I think personally the actual hunting of revives is probably one of my most favorite activities for picking up XP okay it's not a lot in one go it takes a bit of time okay you get more experience from the actual uh, truck and maybe the boat or the town but reviving doesn't cost you resources so it can be really good sometimes and it also helps out your friends you get the thank you cards which means the actual mate possibility within those uh, letters you're getting a nice little card and it may be prizes Wow look at that that is gorgeous so she's actually opened up some of the new land expansion there and use those trees within the design gorgeous 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 and look there we go okay quite a few spots opened already I haven't actually started mine but I'm going to start saving up the actual permits first before I even look at doing that which is why I kind of hunting around okay right you've basically got an idea now on where to get XP as I said it's very useful I get a lot of questions every time about how to make XP within the game to level up I've just given you now quite a few methods on how to hunt for experience points good luck with your actual gathering of XP and I hope you level up as uh, soon as you can remember leveling up is also important but making sure you've got enough coinage as you level up is just as important so keep that in mind when you're actually selling items or buying items or doing your farming XP is not the main focus you need to balance it with collecting coins but if you are looking to level up very quickly experience points is the way to go and I hope to see you reach level 100 as soon as you can because then you can get that golden seat statue which I think is absolutely beautiful okay right that's me red knight coming to an end now now if you would like to subscribe please do so if you want to send me some fan mail this is my address my actual link below for subscribing is 
is on the channel there's also within the description some information as well if you would like to follow me or donate etc but i hope to see you again within the game so have a happy heyday now and take care everybody goodbye all